Hello everyone, this is Betsy from Ideas Times 2 and I have a couple of little uh, things to share with you today. I'm on the design team for Lindsay Zanor, who is NevermoreCreations17.com. She sells journals, journal supplies, and digi kits, so please check her out. I have used um, elements from three different kits, and I'll, I'll show you what I used as I go along here. And um, so I just have had fun decorating, grunging up and decorating some envelopes. And these are envelopes at my job, I open up the mail. And so sometimes I come across and across envelopes that are very interesting or I see potential <laughs> in them. And so that's what I did here. I thought, huh, I'm going to bring these envelopes home and see what I can do with them. So that's what I did. Um, so this first envelope... Um, is a pullout style so whatever was inside just came out the came out the side here and um, so I thought we maybe make a card to go inside um, on the outside I have music paper and I from an old dictionary I, I pulled out postage post postage postage stamp dictionary definitions and so I thought that would be fun to put on a letter here. This image is from Lindsay's kit entitled Fragmenta Botanica and this digital ephemera pack has a whopping 135 images uh, roughly this size here. Gorgeous botanicals and I just put some fake stamps those are just from um, some kind of a um, paper that I had. I just I cut around those and so that is that envelope. This envelope here is um, uh, decorated up here too, layers of paper, some fake stamps. I did a little stamping on, on mini tags there. And um, these are tea stained. And when I tea stained this one, it was on top of another envelope that had some, um, some words on it. And so they transferred over here, but I thought that looked pretty neat. And the flap needed a little help, so I just reinforced it with some uh, paper. So inside, and what you can see in the window, which for some reason I'm just kind of interested in these window envelopes. I think they're pretty cool. So um, I made a booklet out of Lindsay's kit entitled um, Vintage Money Envelope. It's a collage ephemera sheet. And I think there are three different sizes of these. This is the largest size. And I made a little notepad out of it from just miscellaneous papers. So um, I thought that would look cool picking through the envelope there. So that one is done. This one, um, I think we'll just put together a little card to go inside. And then I have another envelope here. Um, and I made a a card to go inside so I'm not sure how far we'll, we'll get but we'll definitely uh, work on a couple things here. So I did pull out um, a couple of little bits and pieces. Um, these lantern lantern uh, pieces are from her kit entitled Light the Way. It's a journal kit so it does have papers, pages. Here are some pages as well and I thought these might look uh, cool on the envelope. So I just pulled those out. We'll see if th those all get used. Here are some little ones of the money envelopes. Um, this is from Light the Way as well and so is this little label. Adorable. And then I just I just have um, a bunch of miscellaneous scraps. Little maps, a script, that kind of thing. And I brought out my ink. So Let's get started. <laughs> All right, so I uh, my thought of on this, this is just a piece of cardstock. I thought I would leave the back plain, and I thought I would just kind of decorate up the front with a few layers of paper and maybe an image. So we'll we'll see how this goes. I did I did see on this paper it's it says place stamp here and then it says postcard so that's in the background but I thought that and then it says this address this side for the address only so I thought that might be kind of cool to try to stick on there so um, 
since this is kind of grunged and vintage, I'm going to just tear. <laughs> so I'm going to tear that. And down to here and then see how it fits. Okay, that's going to look cool, I think. So I need to rip this about this far. And this, of course, will have to be ripped. And then I might actually, to get another paper sort of flowing this way, I might just kind of, I want to keep that word postcard, but I'm going to go ahead and rip down the side a little bit. All right, and then, if possible, I might use these words still, it's where it says this side for the address only. All right, so I need to grunge this up a little bit. And also, we'll have to figure out um, like a little background page or something for that. And these, I think, can be just sort of big collage pieces on here. I don't think it has to be anything um, too detailed. This is sort of like a little postcard or a little note card that's inside of the envelope. So. So we'll grunge that up a little bit. And I just have Fabri-Tac here in a bottle with a, um, a fine tip. So before I glue though, I need to see what else I want to do. Okay, what I think, I think I'm going to do, I'm going to try this out a little bit. Okay. Okay, I think I'm going to do something like that. I'm going to put this here, and then I'll put something else right here. So in order to do that, I'm going to have to rip this a little bit. Okay, and then ink up the edges. Some of that's not going to show, but... Sometimes if I don't ink it, that's the part that shows, or I change my mind, and then that's not what I planned. All right, I like that. I like that. Before we glue, though, I think something's going to go underneath here, so I'm just going to go ahead and um, try to pick something for that. Um, I could also, since this card is cardstock, is just plain. I might just put some tea stain paper. So let me look and see what it looks like. Yep, yep, that looks pretty good. Um, I didn't bring out any music sheets, and not sure I like the green. Let me try a little. And I don't know about that either. Maybe something on the side, but I think, I think under here I'm just going to put some tea stained paper. Okay, so you kind of follow the edge of the cardstock. Yeah, I think I like that. All right, so I'm also going to um, ink these edges as well. There we go. So I think that's a pretty good background. I really like the way it says about the stamp and then the postcard. And then at this point, what I do, I sort of, this is my method, I sort of just like hold it and then start gluing. Instead of taking everything off again, I, I am like, oh, I liked the position of that, so I try to keep it the same. I'll, I will definitely wind up shifting a little bit here, but this is to give myself a little base. Make sure I've got my positioning. Although with these three large pieces, it was probably not that big of a deal, but all right, so see what I mean? I'll just shift a little. And then this one actually needs to come down quite a bit. There we go. 
And then these go back this way, like that. And pretty good, pretty good. This one, I think this one comes back out here a little bit. Yeah. Yep. So I do need to finish gluing these edges here. Pretty good. I'm also going to ink the edges around the card itself. Otherwise, that would look like I just put some old stuff on top of something brand new. Okay, I like it, like it, like it. Now I'm going to decide maybe if I need something on this edge, something along the bottom. So all I really do is I just try to sort of audition things, just hold them up and see how they're looking. So far I like that. I think I like that. I think I might, I might leave that. I like that on there. I love tickets. Really like the fun things you can do with these little tickets. And they're nice for a little, just a little spot of something. All right. So I'm going to have that going up the side like that. And then I think we're done. All right. And that just goes right inside of here. Oops. I get keep catching the edge there. There we go. We have a nice grunged up envelope and a pretty card to go inside. All right, so there's that one. Now we've got those two. Okay, now I'm going to take this out for now and then we're going to work on this one. So let me think here. So if you have, for example, if you have this return address or if you have an address here, of course that's the first thing you're going to want to do is just cover that up um, I think and this this will be covered up by I might not even have to cover up this part but I'll cover up this um, with a stamp or two just something fun up there after I decide what colors I'm going for here so let's see so I ripped off this pretty paper let me just see if I um, will be able to use this down here. I would still have this this side for the address only on there, which I like. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do quite yet. All right. What I think I'll do is sort of rough um, tear a little spot right here because I think we'll have something poking through the window here. So, um, this one doesn't have as much room as the other envelopes, but I think it'll still be cute. So I'm just gonna sort of rough. I watched Tracy Fox do um, a video, I think it was called The First Day Cover, 
where she had some envelopes that were pre-stamped uh, and then she decorated them. So that really inspired me with the stamps and the envelopes. I had seen other people do envelopes, but I didn't really jump on the bandwagon. But when she did hers, I just thought they turned out so cute. Um, so I didn't do first day covers or anything, but I, yeah, that looks good. But I, um, I got interested in trying out an envelope or two. So that's kind of what, where I'm at with this. All right, so I'm going to put that there. Okay. Um, maybe. Let me just take a peek at this real quick. Maybe I'll just have this poking out. Okay. Before that glue dries, I think I'm going to stick that down there. I think I just need the bottom, so quickly before this glue dries. That's why craft with me are <laughs> kind of hard for me because sometimes I can't decide or don't quite know, but then, then I sort of have to backtrack a little bit. All right, so I'm going to leave that where it says this side for the address only and then that little turquoise dot I'm going to make sure that I've got a little tiny bit of color right there all right I'm just going to scoot that over as well like even if some of this hangs over this window I don't think that's a big deal um all right so I think it might be fun to have let's see I do have a couple of these little things. I think that might be cute on there. Maybe I'll go for that little butterfly because it's got a little bit of that teal inside. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Let me trim off just some little tiny bits here. Um, maybe I'll corner punch it too. I'm going to grab my little fourth inch punch and just punch the corners, then we'll ink the edges. This is from the kit, uh, money envelope kit. I think this is the smallest size, if I'm not mistaken. I'm looking around to see if I can find any more sheets of it. Yeah, I think this is the smallest size. They're just so cute. And then these pretty papers were from Light the Way Kit. Alright, so yeah, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that there almost like it's a little label. Yep. And um, maybe be done with that corner. And then we'll have to figure out the other side of the envelope and the stamps too. Alright. Okay, all right, so right up here, we gotta change that. Kinda like this color on there. Maybe pull some of the colors kind of going uh, kitty corner there. So, and then maybe add a little bit of a neutral and something opposite, like this is the grid paper, so I don't want grid paper up there too. So I'm going to try something just the opposite and see see what we can come up with here. Do I want it on top or underneath? Underneath is the question. I could just have it peeking out or have it go on top. Okay. For one thing, this needs tearing right here, so let's tear that. Really like that teal color, so pretty. Okay. All right, let's see how this looks. Okay, so yeah, I think I'm gonna 
put the teal underneath with these the script on top okay um, and then maybe work on the um, stamps so we'll get these inked company right here they send me $35,000 all the time yep yep they do a check for $35,000 <laughs> so I get these envelopes all the time I'm not sure who they're trying to fool all right there we go Put that there and then we'll get some stamps I just ordered on Etsy, I just ordered a bunch of stamps, so I'm going to see if I can find something that I like that goes with this. That looks kind of cool. Um, there's a butterfly there. I did have like a moth. Here's a moth. I could just put one. I think it would be neat if I had two, though. Um, nothing with like a teal on it. I just pulled out some. Maybe this would be good, but if I cover up just that much of the post postmark, I also need to keep going with it. So let's try. Let's try those two. I kind of like those two on there. All right. So put these stamps off to the side. I was really happy with those stamps. Very excited. All right, so now we're going to glue the stamps on, and then I'm going to decide on, looks like I got a lot of glue on there. I'm going to share with this stamp right here. Um, there we go. Got to make sure I got the right side up. All right, I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. Good, good, good. Let's see how much time I have left. Okay, I've got some time. Okay, so what also is kind of cool is that you can sort of tie with the front cover or you can just sort of have something in the background right here. So I'm trying to think here. I might need to check and see if like a pattern is going to be too much. Like it might be a little too much. So we might just go for something plainish. Maybe we'll do script in a different color on top of maybe some TI paper. Okay. Okay, so. I'm going to try to make this so that the little postcard looks good all by itself. But it also looks cool poking through the window. So we'll just start out, start out with this plain piece here. That's interesting how dark it is here, and on that side it's not so dark. This is coffee stained paper. I almost, almost did it on the wrong side. Ooh. Okay. All right. All right, so we're going to get that as close to the edge as possible. So we make sure our script pokes through here. Okay. Okay, good. This piece is about the right size. So this side is torn, this side is torn, and I think I'll leave the rest straight. Although it doesn't, looks like I might need to trim it just to even it up just a little bit. Okay. 
Okay, so I think, oops, I'm going to ink the edges. I didn't ink that tea stain paper. I probably should have, but it is too late now. But it's got a nice dark um, color anyway, so that's, that's, that's good. Alright, so now let's get the script on, and then I think we'll just try to kind of put a few uh, decorative elements on it. They won't show through the window necessarily. I uh, might try to stick just a tiny, tiny bit coming out of the window. Let's, let's find out. Okay, so I'm kind of looking to see how far I need to go. Okay, let's check this out. Okay, I like it. All right, that looks that looks good. I don't think I need anything else in the window. But to make this look kind of cool all by itself, let's put an image on it. That looks nice. Um, let's see, do I have some more Fragmenta pieces here? I thought I did. I don't know. Trying to, trying to figure out what to put on here. I thought I had some more of the fragmented cards, but it's all right. I've got some here. So see, there are so many of these beautiful images. Oh my goodness! Look at those tulips. That that has to happen. All right, so. I'm probably going to uh, rip the edges anyway, so I'm not being too careful here. Oh, goodness, that's so pretty. All right, I think I'm going to I'm going to put Okay. So, I'm going to rip these edges here. And this. Oh, these are so pretty. Okay, like that. And then I'm going to put something behind it, I think. Some, some, something, some, something. Um, let's see. Maybe this. edges here. Ooh, that's looking good. Okay. Ink this edge here. Alright. Now. Now. See, I'll glue this down on the green. Okay, and that down and then let's see just wondering if I should pull a little bit more green up in this corner I'm gonna try let's see what it looks like so I'm sort of rip that and maybe have it coming out from underneath here since it's not all the way glued down 
Maybe sort of. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New, new, new. I tell you what, don't know for sure yet. So I'm going to ink this edge. Let's see. My camera quit, quit working on me there. My time was up. It told me my time was up, but I wasn't done. <laughs> Anyway, so I decided on nothing up here, All right, so I, I left it like this. When you put it inside the envelope, it just shows the script on the outside. Here's one. Um, here's the another one with a huge uh, window and the booklet inside. And then this one where the card slips out on the side. So that is it. Those are my decorated envelopes. Now what do you do with the envelopes? These are meant for inside of a junk journal and there is room for journaling on the back of the envelopes, on the back of the cards, um, on the top of the cards. Um, they're just a fun element for your junk journal and so that's kind of what I had in mind with these. So I hope you enjoyed this project. Please check out Lindsay Zanor at nevermorecreation17.com. I'll put her information down below. I'll put the information down below where you can find us as well at Ideas Times 2. So thank you for joining me. Bye.